Hey guys, I'm Zombin Derange, and thank you for checking out my live stream today. Today I'm playing a brand new game, only released today. Only maybe dozens of people have played it so far, but I don't know if it's been broadcasted. So today I'm playing The Park. Um, it's a psychological horror about a mother who lost her child in an abandoned music park. It's really creepy. Uh, the ambiance on it is great. Uh, looks like it's going to be a really fun time, so let's get straight into it. I'll dim the lights a little bit. Let's keep this on. Let's turn this off. Presents. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Hey Rob, welcome to the channel. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Alright, so this is my kid. Apparently he goes missing. What is on his shirt? Looks pretty cool. It's a little dragon or something. This is a beautiful game. I can't run. Okay. Attention what? patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Uh, Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. Okay. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Atlantic Island Park, a tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be the place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all the world who follow after. Cool. Alright. Hey B, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, Alright, information, here we go. <clears throat> what? what? Lay off the drugs, Mrs. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine! Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. A little shit. I'll unlock the gates for you. Alright. Let's see. Oh. First to show it to Callum. Sharon provides visual clues to guide you. Wait up there for mommy, Callum! Catch me, mommy! Hey, little bastard. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. And don't get electrocuted. <clears throat> oh God, what the hell is that down there? Sign. Hello, Callum. That escalated pretty fast. Callum. You can't catch me. Hey, come here, little bastard. Callum! Where did 
Where did you go? Right in front of me. Man, look at the mouth on that thing. That's cool. Come here. Like, you got short little stubby legs. Have them forward. You got short little stubby legs. Have them Wait for here. mommy! So I'm going to be doing this game completely start to finish. Uh, estimated time is about... Don't hide from me, Callum! About uh, two Come hours. This way. <laughs> Where did you go? Shoe? What? Oh, shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. Yep, it's a shoe, all right. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad the chipmunk, worse in class. Chad the chipmunk can't even pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will be a useless slob. Wow. Okay. Oh. What is this about? Purchase the land. Or Solomon Islands for pigeons. I might add whatever the old archive of Henderson did to the locals. Just to mention. Uh, yeah. That's a lot to read. Whoa, shit. <clears throat> yeah, it's. Callum? It's Over her son. Here. Apparently she loses him in here somewhere. Uh, the lore on this place is that, um, this place is, this place was uh, abandoned for a lot of accidents, like a roller coaster accident. Okay. Callum, no stay where you thing. are! Great. Um, a roller coaster mishap, killing a family of like four or six. Um, come on, get up. Get up. Come on, Mommy! Yeah, killing a family. Uh, there was uh, like a dismembered body. Come on, get on. Um, yeah, dismembered child in the back of like the Kearney tent or something like that. Pretty interesting. <clears throat> yeah, it is a little boy. Callum. Where are you? One cool mechanic about this is like you right-click at any time. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. And you shout out, but it gives you clues as to like I don't know where things are or whatever. But you could hear it get more frantic as the event goes on. Callum, why did you go? Callum, why did you go? <gasps> cool echo. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and oh, a cool. girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. <laughs> Hello, Lady Wolf. Welcome I tell time. you what, husband. We will take <clears throat> the children into the thickest part of the forest oh, tomorrow God, and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. I he crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Bum, bum, bum. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them oh, as they pass into the woods. Creepy. When their father leaves them, the children wait. wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Did you guys see that? After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. 
Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry eyed birds right now, snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was anymore. destroyed. Uh, maybe it seems he's a lot bigger and I get to know you a bit more for Abandoned sure. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Oh, I feel like that little chipmunk's hanging around. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. I know how handsome you were. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. My house. I like the narrator. Kind of reminds me of old uh, woman emerged the from the house, fable. sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? And we've Just got come the in and the stay with me. Again. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded <clears> them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. That's not so the old woman that offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see? Okay, Nothing to fear here. Come inside. The old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Oh Once inside the house, the old woman what changed. Do again? She stuffed Hansel into a cage I somewhere. I know it. and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful. The old witch told Gretel, once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. I can't call it my kid anymore. I've been trying to Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today I will cook and eat your brother. Alright, I'm gonna turn the game a bit. How's that? Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said. The opening is here! And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the <laughs> old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Turn that down. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children you gotta sat admit, by the oven. Like Hansel and Gretel was a pretty morbid tale, man. And the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't oh. survive on sweets. They divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. That's a little different. My kid's not here? I went on this ride for nothing. That was a cool ending, you know? <laughs> what the fuck?
Can we kill that uh, penguin? Spawn? Whatever the hell I'm on? I still can call it to my kid. Let me off that demon duck. Let me off the demon duck. You're a freaky little shit. Alright. Please, Callum, tell me where you are! So, Callum is not over here. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor Ferris children. Wheel. The whole world Octothron? against them. Octotron? The forest. The birds. House of Horrors, that's gonna be the fun. The old witch. Such a Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. Is it safe to say, Lady Wolf, world. that you are Laura Lee? We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places. Where the tree branches reach like claws. Yeah, you can run again. Callum, tell mommy where you are. <laughs> Stop, Callum! What the fuck? What? Why are you bothered? Another this? accident. This place. <laughs> Despite the construct of interruptions at work, Atlantic Island Park will be open in time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so only the real question is whether we'll have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what I needed from the band writings of the Archive Henderson. Four is astonishing to think that a renaissance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use the negative and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing. Hello, Teddy. Why are you driving? Teddy's don't have licenses. Oh, there's a big old blood splatter. What was on Teddy's head? Is that a knife or something? Some yeah, a knife stuck in his eye. That's what happens when you stab a teddy in the eye. You die. <clears throat> Callum! That kid's creepy. I bet he was born in a field of corn. Like children of the corn. Little shit. And the Ferris wheel. Ooh, the rides. This is gonna be fun. Callum, stay where you are. Catch me, mommy. Catch me, mommy. Even the water sounds creepy. <clears throat> Hello. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Bring him the boys, his fellow chipmunk suit is making a nice carving while people were taking for rest. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit worried of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man was carving and picking away at the ice. At first we thought he was making some metal, like a tiger or a lion. But the more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face, smiling at a lot of uh, out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were prey and that thing was a, ice as a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made fun at the carving and said something rude to the guy at the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stabbing. Wait, he was stabbed, stabbing with the ice pick and the blood was spraying and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids who were dragging them away as fast as we could. Holy crap! The last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeball where one of those poor kids landed on the ice sculpture, making a whole creature look more or less alive. Well then. Oh crap, I keep going to press escape to get out of that. Come back! Is he on the ride? Right him over this way. Come out, sweetie!
Don't want to be coughing in your guys' ear and clear my throat. <clears throat> Callum, where Ooh. are you? There's something over here and there's something over there. What's over here? Where are you? Pull oh, I remember this. Gee, I freaked out. So does a kid. God damn it. Continue. I'm so used to using escape for other things. Hello? Oh, hey. Uh, I'll ride that in a minute. Let's decrease speed. Let's see if we can actually look inside these things. No sense to me. I can understand the swan because I thought the kid went up on the swan. But he was clearly not on this machine. Why do they make that to set this down? Is there someone in there? It is too. It's that guy I just saw. Where'd he go? I'm gonna ride that again. Come back, Callum. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. You go. Oh, Paige. Frustrated by the fact that plans seem incomplete, I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game could be changed enough with money. But no matter how much money talks, it can conjure up missing plans from thin air. I've tried contacting an organization who sold me these plans, and they are stonewalling me. Every contact that I have uh, had, every meeting place I've had watched or swept bare. I think a single feeling that I have been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find from the plants regardless. The harvesting machines, the transplant mechanisms, etc. Uh, sorry, transplant. <laughs> transport mechanisms, etc. I'll probably let Nicholas name them something cute for the day we open for the park. There'll be rides after all. Ah, I did it again. Go away. <clears throat> Stop! Kill him! I think that home is a little Callum? creepy. I've already seen the report. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Here. Callum, come back here right now. This way, Mommy. This way, Mommy. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum. My thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing, and I thought, is that it? We wow. build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. I thought working in the park for some would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season here really drags. There aren't many tourists around, and most of the staff spent their days standing around gossiping, and most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See? Even I'm starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's a goddamn suit. At the beginning it was a laugh. Steve the local lush is uh 
Yeah, it's Chad the Chipmunk. Chad from the mascot, lent to God in the lock up your daughters and all that. The more, the more he wears the suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him as Susie's honor still wearing it. And it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to Park Ranch about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seemed to have changed. The suit still smells like carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in the gutter outside this so Sequoia station. Because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they'll give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me. Maybe he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the sh suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up. I fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and he came by. Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put in everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that shit won't see it ever again. Laura. God damn it. Oh, Jesus. Come out, sweetie. Can I go in there? What the hell? There's a body in there. Can I get in? Son of a bitch. Wait, Callum! I can't even see a door. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Yes, wait. wait for mommy! <laughs> I don't think there is a door, but what the hell is this? It's like a girl hung up on the wall or something. <clears throat> so, what do you guys think of the game so far? Hello, weird buggy thingy. Come to mommy, Callum. <laughs> Callum, where'd you go? Oh yeah, I can run again. Yeah, Forgot that. Hello. Constant crashes and '80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Clue. Way, mommy. mommy needs to see you, Callum. This way. This way. Another accident report. A uh, brief description of accident incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly in. Uh, driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Ouch. Francis was killed. Um, Dexter, the truck driver, claims he has seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff was requested that Dexter provide him with the urine samples. Double checking the straps after the transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. Uh, additional comments. The local li laborers are very superstitious and this Hasn't helped some of them refusing to return to work until we have some of the local church walk the park and exorcist of the exercise of the spirits. Cool. Oh, hello. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. 
When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, oh. watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. You got a friend's house he's Judgment. building it, too? He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Yeah, I'll do that, no problem. If you ever actually need someone to talk to, man, uh, after the stream is over, I'll give you some of my personal information if you need any, man. I'm more than happy to help a friend out. Continue to lead in the confidence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals and say they believe a lot of the rumors about that old man Anderson used to do here. They grew up on the tail. Everyone, every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, these fools cross themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I choose to stay over the whole potentials. Solomon Islands and Nessus for dark emergencies, and the thought of that power just disappearing because they are there. It makes my skin crawl. I called them a few favors back in the Brooklyn, some lovely local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that the old man Henderson has come pretty strong connection to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help to find a piece of the plans that were done. Yeah, actually, um, I just, the links just came up in chat. Go to one of those two links, Facebook or Twitter, and send me a private message and we'll talk, man. If you need anything, I'm here for anybody. Uh, myself, I haven't gone Alan, to why did you go? like that. Wife has, you know, she'd be someone good to talk to as well. If you need any help, uh, or more than happy to help. <clears throat> Where are you, Callum? There now. Tell mommy where you are. Alright, I'm going to free speed this time because it's going to speed up anyway, so I'm going to go jack it. I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, crap. I actually have to run. Jeez, that doesn't sound like a good Ferris wheel. What do you use for social media? I can't get on while it's moving. <clears throat> okay. Well, um, this stream should be clued up by then, because from what I hear, this game is about two hour t time frame. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I don't do Twitch as much as I do YouTube. Send me a private message through Twitch uh, before you log off, whether I'm still streaming or not, and I'll get at you, man. People come into your life for a what reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cut hey, feel like the Welcome others. The he just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and 
eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Oh, that's Don not a smoke that's through the windows. Then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Nothing scary happened on this ride? I feel like I'm being loaded with a false sense of security. There's somebody right there. No? Uh oh. This creepy guy again. Oh fuck. Okay, man. Just relax. Uh, you know, I'm definitely down to chat afterwards. Don't be afraid. Sorry, you're going through that, man. Stay where you are. Oh, baby again. Crap. Mommy is coming, Callum. Stay where you are. Goddamn. Callum. Callum! Mommy is coming, Callum! Oh, God. Oh, shit! That was close. City is watching me. Callum, tell mommy where you are. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Callum, where did um, you go? I'm beginning to question this woman's uh, mothering instincts. Stay where you are! I got a feeling that like, Mommy is coming, Callum. Some psychological horror, and like she killed him or something. Oh man, I love roller coasters. Callum, tell mommy where you are. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Callum, why did you go? Don't be afraid. Alright. What am I looking at? Right there. Can I get in there? Nope. But I bet you don't see a certain gentleman with the top Where hat. are you, Callum? <clears throat> you guys ready? What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What Who have you done to him? That voice? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. 
has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Everything this roller coaster is not going to be very fun. What? Alright, new note. It works! Yay! The calculations adjustments worked. The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day. If only these people knew what they were feeling. And so, uh, so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day? Feeling down? So what if the children are more scared than they say on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality? And such doorways open only to those who have the... Who have the will to find the key. Oh, I did it again. Find the key. <clears throat> this isn't a game, Callum! Come back! I'm not playing anymore, there we go. Callum! New hint. Oh, finally a flashlight. The witch awaits. How do I use a flashlight? I can help you, Callum. F? Nope. Callum! Callum! I tried all the classic cockies. None of these are giving me a flashlight. Let me just check controls for a second. Settings. Gameplay. Hmm. I guess there is none. I guess it'll just default automatically. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. <clears throat> He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me hurt. at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. Let's try this way. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. What is she and there will be pain. Him? But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. All right, apparently I can't go up here yet. Come back! Follow the breadcrumbs. Callum, where are you? Keep them away from me! This isn't a game, Callum! Don't let the witch put me in the oven! Why? I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Mommy, I'm scared! 
Oh, hey. That's always fun. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in park goer's mouth. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic uh, Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, had released the following statement. It is true a tragedy it is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with the authorities to help bring the case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on the so story going forward. I can help you, Callum. Don't let him take me. Sound came this way. Callum? Callum! Callum, where are you? What are you scared of? Come back! It lives a corpse. Don't let him take me. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? You're gonna jump at me, Annie. Nope. Oh, fucking sh chipmunk. I can help you, Callum. All the breadcrumbs. Son of a bitch. This isn't a game, Callum. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Take pills, okay? The, Why not? These are mine. The two tablets. What does it say? I can't see it. It's too blurry. Not safe. Your mother. Say no to graffiti. <laughs> 1980s. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. <laughs> Teddy bears? Can I come over? Woohoo! Oh, cool. Don't leave me here, Calm. Don't touch me! Oh, creepy. Does the newspaper still say the same thing, I wonder? Nope. <laughs> Billy Button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness made omniscient by a broken fires in the coastal strain. We don't believe that the earth belongs to battered goats and shamrock afterbirth. The only truly naked wrens of righteousness, illidid, whatever, and it's severed by war cross cleavages in the trust exercise arrhythmia. Beaumont will come to the island, bearing the talisman, and he will shatter the seals that bind the Orthodoxy, orthodoxy or whatever, uh, corruption, only when the priests shoot, sluts revit, revel, housewives fornicate, 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 whatever, fornicate, and delayed messiahs make axles for the rescue of Tangle and Cash. The sweet temptress who grips the shaft, twists the shaft, absconding with the third age, tries? Fires? Tries? I don't know. Into the fourth age darkness while the gods lie withering shattered face on earth. Salah has sweetness and grace, but her days are numbered. The heavy fisted hives break before frozen wills and celegraphic actresses with pencil and paper pour on her feet. The all seeing eye will provide decade long updates in the story going forward. Okay. I did it again, oh my god. <clears throat> Callum, I'm sorry. Even her voice is distorted. Whack a jack. Mommy, I'm scared. Say. 
pickled punks. <laughs> Don't leave me here, Callum. Man, the sounds in this game is so awesome. Forgive me, Callum. All right. Oh, let's see if the body's still there. Punk. <clears throat> Forgive me, Callum. Alright. Don't let him take me! Let's continue on this very high journey. Whoa. What the? Oh, it's a shadow. Oh, okay. is a collage of contradictions all of its own millions of people die every year in car crashes and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action here the children scream with joy in the sideshow alley you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake the tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, Jesus. the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me inside. Callum, where are you? Don't let the witch put me in the oven. Don't let the witch put me in the oven. This isn't a game, Callum! <laughs> this is obviously where I came in. Alright. Come back! Come back. What are you scared of? I don't know. What are you scared of? I can help you, Callum. Don't let him take me! Okay, this is Hansel and Gretel's house. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Breadcrumbs. That's pretty messy looking. I should have used that for the clan I got in the bottom. <clears throat> Callum! Callum! I'm kinda happy I was one of the first ones to play this. Like this has only got released today. Excuse me. Alright, there's my flashlight. Awesome. Extra, extra spooky. What have you done with him? What have you done with him? Give him to me! Read page. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Monolithic Park has closed its gates. A jeering throne of townsfolk gathering a we hung a heavy iron padlock at the grates. Gates. A uh, small minded fool, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston. I have retreated here to the house of horrors. I must sink. Bloody hell! It's not escape. <clears throat> Hello, creepy squirrel who's going to murder me. Nathaniel Winter, welcome you to Atlantic Island Park. What was it? The fuck? Colin? Stop! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 
we see? There was, there was a clue there somewhere. Is this it? Here, I think. Oh, bye, guy. Don't leave me. Why did you steal me? I didn't steal you. Don't leave me. Hello, demon. Where is my boy? Look out. Look out for what? Oh god. Leave me alone. Don't believe them. Leave me alone. Get away. Show yourself. The clues are over there. Okay. Alright. How do I get to the clue? Oh hi over here. Cool. There's that little boogeyman fucker again. Give him to me! That's a little bit menacing looking. Where is it too? Oh, that scratching sounds awesome. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Don't make me look at it. Oh no. I don't want my flashlight to die. What have you done with him? Stop! Oh god. You bastard. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What was that? <laughs> Can't get past him, okay? Where the hell's that other clue? Mother, where is he? Show yourself. It's right behind here somewhere. Please, ah. let me see. Instance, I cannot dismiss them as random chance. This park works, but something is interfering with its intended function, as though it's the very air in this place is corrupting the power, even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, if I get investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I'd rather like him. <clears throat> ah, it's even funner playing him, because then you get, like, immersed in it. Horrible mother. Where is he? I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Alright. Is this the way I go? Oh, well, hello there. I feel like I've seen this somewhere before, prior to this game. What have you done with him? Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. One That's the wind out one day. That's the doorway I should use for this imagery. Hello, not too, not too far off. <clears throat> Don't make me look at it. That's so cool. Open door. Oh yeah, damn. Go this way. Oh, there's multiple ways. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I guess we'll start from the one in the back. Nope. No. Nope. Alright, straight to this. This is kind of a nice kind of place. After they let me out, oh. they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. 
home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. I did with the aid of a tutorial on YouTube, but I've never done it on my own. Aw, shucks. The Will Dean, Susan, and Biscoe. And Skull. Show yourself! I remember it's a lot more pleasant than this room. Don't leave me! No cheese, bread, butter, corn potatoes, apples, fish case. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, fix faucet. I didn't even press escape then. Oh, I pressed off screen. Why have you done with them? <clears throat> well, there's a pipe you gotta fix. Give it to me! Any heads? Nope, bit of chicken. I received your letter and I am quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those years ago, then disappointed, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and when I finally tracked you down, you refused to answer all my letters. And now you write to ask me for help. I have another family now, another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but it needs to go on living. I can't let you back in my life without picking uh, open old wounds. I'm sorry, though, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please con don't contact me again. Karen. Okay, so someone was cheating on somebody? Uh, we agreed in your meeting today. We consider you fully recovered from your illness. This is a letter of official location. We considered sound, and body, sound of mind and body and may return to work any time. Please note you should discontinue any medicine that you have been using to dispose of your remaining medicines. If you feel at any time you are suffering a relapse, which I definitely am right now, then please contact your local uh, physician immediately. I almost said Mormon. Who was that? That was nobody. Oh, green door. Leave me alone! Um, Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression. It began early in pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from a grief of losing her partner, Dan, Don, uh, who died about six months ago. There are some several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided the standard treatment for her, this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient was responding and made a rapid recovery. Well, Lorraine has a newborn son who was placed in foster care shortly after birth. When Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression, it is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her own son return to her as long as she can follow her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication. We have faith that she uh, will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and her employer, Susie, had said it was welcome to return her shifts into the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is, this, it is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. Uh, Zoloft, okay, cool. Did it again. God damn it. Nice. Doodly doodly. Stop! Our inquiry to the state of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We have right to inform you that the primary benefactors of this estate, including the life insurance settlement for the accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State. The deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Ms. Williams and explained your situation, especially regarding the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not respect, 
receptive to our overtures and a specific specified with any legal proof of bio biological relationship. Oh my god, I can't speak. They considered you ineligible to receive any of the money from Donald's estate. <clears throat> yada, yada, yada. You ain't getting money. God damn it. Ooh, let's go deeper in my mind. I'm pretty sure like this is all psycho psychological in my mind kind of stuff. Continuous loops, is everything the same? Oh, hey, no, it's different. <clears throat> Things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day working at the park, it gets worse, like a spring inside my mind, wanting tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, let's get a little better. Uh, it gets a little better. Guys, the guys relax and we laugh and we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, I need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city, where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you. Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Camel. Uh, Camel. <laughs> Call them for a boy and Emma if it's a girl. Leave me alone. Any new over here? Oh. Nightmare Circus. That looks pretty, uh, pretty relevant. More bills. Bills. Pills. Give me. <clears throat> Hunger. Little gingerbread bean. Oh, what's that say? I'd have to do the puzzle? I'm no good at puzzles. Hope I don't have to do a puzzle. Still says I love you. Cookie baby. Oh, hi, Colin. Where is my boy? Oh, bye. Cheese, milk, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish. This is all off prescription. Remember, take the pills. Follow up with the Dr. Spencer. Organize babysitter for Colin. More booze, rotting food. Can't get to there, of course. So who? I didn't run away. Dad took me. Uh, wow. Thank you, William, for the news. Watches. The new watches. Very nice. It had made me happy. Oh, hi. I inquired if state. Oh, hey, that hasn't changed. Oh, she's getting run down now. Oh, my God, look at that. Nightmare Circus is still there. Oh, a chipmunk goes stab, stab, stabbing. In the eyes, jab, jab, jabbing. And all the town is gab, gab, gabbing. Just lie down and let it happen. Basel Gala win. Ah, oh, interesting. I should, check the look the I should check the back of the rest of the books. Oh, this is Scorch. What does it say? Uh, I don't want to come to you without being my right mind. Oh, never mind. We got to spread that. It's just mangled now. A long time ago, in the forest in the woods, there lived a woodcutter, his wife, and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Brettel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. 
The story has been doctored to hide the truth from the unsuspecting public. Now our panel of fairy tale experts have uncovered compelling evidence that Hensel and Gretel were in fact eaten alive. In this never before seen expo exposed read about how their parents inexplicably tried to cover it up by telling stories about a witch in the house made of candy. There's all here in this page of shocking fake story. Interesting. Oh, there's blood on the hat now. Oh, hey, silly saying stuff. Bye bye. Her lie. See her try. So I gotta go through here at least one more time. With this novel, Lorraine. Jeez, that sounds weird. Lorraine Clemens. Her place is one of the most important scientific figures of our generation. The wilting. A solar flare has stuck to Earth. Millions of people are uprooted their homes. Anyway, that's giving me enough time to read it. Milk so off, cheese so off, bread so off, butter so off, corn so off, so off, apples so off, fish sticks. Remember, more pills, tickets to Atlantic Island Park. Only booze and a bloody. Wait, not. Oh my God, this is demented. Last round. History of Solomon Island. Like, I want to listen and talk and all that, but like, just the background music. Hey, I remember those! You guys ever used one of those? It's like a little shitty single person pogo, but the moment you became over 50 pounds, it just stick right through. Thank you for waiting for the new watch. It was very nice. It made me happy. All right. Ooh, it's that creepy dude. And down on the floor. Can't open it. Can't open it. And open. Ooh, she creepy. Walk, walk, walking, sneaking, stealing, he's stuck, stuck, stalking. Is he really a tough, tough, tough? And now he's not the time for Balkan? Cerebral Gortex Wing. Alright. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Hunger, did this change at all? Nope. The Wicker is dead, which always wins. The Wicker is dead, which always wins. So, Alright, a little bit repetitive. All the pages in the Brooklyn story. I really wish I'd read the earlier ones. Freaky. Still bloody. Alright. No, I still gotta go through one more time. I'll read it afterwards. Creepy. It's all off, baby. Anything different here? Hey, I guess that's my partner. More drugs. Not different. Oh, hey. <laughs> Zoloff. <laughs> Remember, you are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. Ooh, uh, what was that? 
check it out in a second. What's in the fridge? Oh, a nice pick. Right through the eye. Freakers. I'm just gonna go back and look at the uh, this thing. See her cry, see her try, see her lie, see her why, say bye bye. And I guess the other ones just see her die. Or ruined. Because one that's really mixed up still. Yeah, see her die. Alright. I don't think this is going to be a very good outcome for my main character. <clears throat> oh. What's happening? I don't even know what way I'm looking right now. Okay. I got a flashlight back there. I wonder if the Rubik's Cube just changed. <clears throat> no. This game is dark. Hello, drunk baby. Did we have a fire in here at some point? <laughs> As we agreed today in your meeting, we've considered you batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you're in no way sound of mind and body, and you're a danger to everybody around you. Please note that your only escape from this should be drugs. A shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous, take them any way you can, as often as you can. That shit can only make your life better. In case there was any doubt, you're suffering relapse, and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Dr. Spock, Dunwich Me uh, Medica. Have a nice day. Did it again. <laughs> That's my favorite note so far. Free notice. There goes, at least the boogeyman's gone. Whew. I'm like anticipating some really scary shit soon. At least the baby's gone. What's this book say now? Glory in the rain, I need you to focus on what we've been discussing. The chipmunk killer, Steve Gardner. He was locked away for what he did to those kids. Nathaniel Winter hasn't been seen in years, but there's nowhere to clean Atlantic Island Park. We've established this. You know this. Shit's getting loud. Alright, then we could have stood there. Cool. Killing some of our life can change. <clears throat> okay. See her lie, see him die, see her cry, see her try. Uh, ask her why, say bye bye. Oh! Forget Don, Dad, Kev, okay, not him. Well then. What's in the fridge? Teddy, Teddy. This game is fucked.
surprised nothing happened on the TV yet. Like, I'm getting so antsy now, it's not even funny. You will watch me. Ah, still going down. God damn it. That was an office. No. Am I out of this? Am I done? Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? This game. Come look at it. Oh, there's a clue over here. Leave me alone! All right, anything over here first? Oh, read a page. Oh, kids broke in today. It has been so long since I heard laughter, so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast and the other was didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machine is going to light, roaring in time to stop his gas and shrieks. I think it's delightful. The change brought uh, wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be another children I could lay on my slab. What the fuck is up with this? Don't leave me! Alright, nope, I'm not here. I feel like this. Why have you done with him? Given to me. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Eyes without sparkle. That sounds morbid. Show yourself. Uh, there's something there in the corner. Or maybe not this corner. Around the corner. Hansel and Gretel. Oh. Yeah, that's what I want. Secret cave. Or, well, not cave, but passage. Oh. Cutscene. Calum. Calum! Oh. Calum. Calum. Calum! Oh, uh, fucking Chucky. I mean, Chucky, uh, whatever his name is. The creepy fucking chipmunk. Oh, it's Cthulhu! Yeah! What? Maybe the chipmunk's the savior. Or not. Did I just do that or? He's not there. Is it over? No. What the hell? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time.
Was that the views? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. Honestly, I was a oh, he's picking his chest. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Alright guys, well that was the perk, um, shit, that was a really good game, that was intense, definitely really kind of screwed with your mind a little bit, what'd you guys think? So did I kill him, or was that just all in my brain? That's what I'm just wondering. Like, I really don't know what happened there, at the end. Oh, I'm gonna see if there's any at the end of the credits. <clears throat> but yeah, the graphics were great, the jump scares were nice and even, they weren't just kind of like overdone like some games are. Whew. Very spooky. I like the ambiance of that whole abandoned park. I guess so. And there's Colum. Bye, Colum. It's kind of cool, though. It's kind of like a take it as it will kind of deal. Like, you could kind of decide how that actually went. Is it mental mental illness? Did she kill? So on. I'm pressing that. There we go. Really good, though. How long did that thing go on her? What time is it now? Well, it was an hour and a half. I'm gonna see if there's anything like any little bonuses and stuff before I clear this up. New game settings, credits, extras. Ah, there is extras. Thank you for playing the park. The park is a psychological thriller set in the secret world universe. The secret worlds are a massive multiplayer online game that develops a place in the modern day setting where terrifying myths, legends, and conspiracies in our world are all coming true. We want to thank players of the secret world who have also purchased a park by providing unique game items made for use in the secret world. Achieve more killer outfit. Steve Gardner was stressed to kill and he brutally slaughtered those teenagers in Atlantic Park in 1979. Now you can just And the woodcutter talismans. A powerful legendary QL1090 talisman available in three different versions. One for tanks, healers, and damage to the law. Um, cool. So, if you play the other game, you get some bonuses. Awesome. Alright. Well, guys, that was the park. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to go offline there for a little bit and see what's happening. Uh, I will be uploading this to YouTube. Um, and uh, B, don't worry, I'll censor out that little person that you wished. Um, but yeah, great game. Absolutely loved it. Had me on edge, especially for that last part when that music started really kicking in. Um, so there we go. That was the park. And quit. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my stream today. It's great to see you. Um, be sure to check out my YouTube videos that I've uploaded. I've got seven or eight Halloween ones up now. Um, and hopefully I'll have... Actually, no, I put another one up today. Evil Within. That's a really cool game. You should check that out. Um, I'm going to be making a series out of that. That game is fucking freaky. Um, I got two more episodes, two more videos to download, uh, not download, but record between now and the 20th, Thursday, and if I have time, I don't think I will, but if I have time, I might put out like a bonus episode for Halloween day. Um, in the meantime, thanks for checking out the stream, thanks for checking out my channel, so make sure to subscribe here if you want to check out whenever I'm going online, 
and to subscribe on YouTube too. All right, guys. Uh, thanks out. And uh, on a side note, B, feel free to private message me.